Hello dear kids, morning, morning or afternoon or I don't know when you are going to watch this. I have prepared this very short video trying to summarize, to make a brief stand from where you can see everything we have been exploring and searching and sharing during this term, unusual school term, an unusual project term um, with which we Zoom classes and with a book and with a website, we have been trying to cover whatever had to be covered and we could do it very successfully, really. So, uh, let me show you. First thing, sorry. First thing I prepared is this kind of chart with all the three units that we did from our book. Your book is Gold Experience B1. The names of the units are these and with just the names of the unit, um, a lot of things come to my mind of all the things that we shared, okay, the activities that we practiced. And we also shared during this uh, term a website, a Google Classroom, where we had the activities that some of them were sent by the Google site or by mail or by WhatsApp or whatever way we could. So these were more or less the topics that we dealt with grammar, with vocabulary, with pickup, and with writing. Let's see how we worked with each of them. We started talking about this kind of cheap and fun alternatives to watching TV, especially kind of activities that are not expensive, that can be done at home when we are locked down in quarantine, okay? Um, these kind of hobbies and activities were described by you and in this unit we also knew and we also learned and described and explored all the verbs that are followed by ing, a gerund, or by an infinitive, with or without to. And special attention was paid to some verbs that can be followed by both forms. I try to use, I always try to use some short films that are there in the classroom so that you can watch over and over again, as many times as you want. They are generally uh, short videos prepared by English teachers. I prefer always British English in the materials that we share, all right? Uh, and then in that same unit, we also have the inner questions as a kind of topic. Also prepared by uh, or presented with a short video, what is an indirect question, and then some practice. The practice could be done in some worksheets that were live, and you could send only the answers, or some worksheets that were, uh, maybe you printed them, or some of you uh, wrote the results in your notebooks and have a picture of that and send that by WhatsApp. But we tried to discover what the indirect questions uh, were, all right? And we are still doing it. Yes, of course. After that, the, the exam came. It was the first online exam that I had prepared in my whole life and maybe the first one that you were solving in your life. So I tried to make it uh, with all the characteristics that a paper exam will have in the future and paying attention to the fact that you could solve it revising your book, revising dictionary, asking someone to help you too, but this had to do with your own responsibility on how to do it and how to hand in. And uh, I have had most of them, not all of them yet, but well, there's always some time in winter holidays, okay? Next unit had to do with traveling and holidays, and we also enjoyed here the visit of uh, Sergio Faust, to talk about some of the wonders in the world, the natural wonders in the world, and our um, Iwasu Falls that are also included, have, has been included in the last years, in the last nominations. And with this uh, topic and with this vocabulary, we also, saw, from the grammar point of view, we joined with a passive voice. And what was the passive voice? It was not the first time that you have seen it. So it was a kind of revision of passive voice with a short video and also some kind of 
uh, practice, we are here with the passive voice in the present and in the past only. Get ready because with next uh, book and with next program, I'm sure we're going to get deeper into passive voice. Wow, talking about holidays has to do with the weather too, and you prepare a very nice speech here uh, describing your favorite weathers in some uh, places in the world or where the natural one as well. I also presented some very short, very short dialogues so that you can see how the weather, apart from the weather forecast, can be used to uh, practice also conversation and to make a nice speech, all right? So after this, we also talked about the opportunities we have been talking during all this uh, period about the things that are happening at school and with education uh, during the coronavirus and trying to guess what will happen with uh, the school after this period has finished, maybe after winter holidays, we don't know, maybe after August, September. Let's think that by October we're going to be all right. Now, the description in this unit had to do with description of places. So, the new things here were the adjectives that are used to describe places. The vocabulary had to do with the description of the natural phenomena, the landscapes, places like mountains or seas or valleys, etc., but also the adjectives that describe these places. Okay, and with this, another test came. This, the second online test um, had also a listening incorporated there and a composition and for, fortunately most of them, not all, handed in and had very good results. So I'm really happy because this was not an easy test So and you had great results means that you've studied a lot, that we have been doing things okay for you to remember and to explore these new items, all right? Last unit, the last unit of the book, the last unit of the term has to do with experiences. Well, how do you express and how do you can describe and narrate new experiences? And in this case, it was life in a circus, or how you train for life in a circus was our main idea. And for this uh, revision of narratives, you had to use the past perfect tense, we had a very short video here with a past perfect tense and also some practice. I have been using these live worksheets that you can see here, that you can work online, you send and you can uh, check your results yourself. That's something most of you have been doing and just tell me how things went on. Apart from the revisions that we do on the book, of course. No? So this is another game that we did with, uh, you can also keep on playing with word wall, can you see? Any topic can be played there. Um, in our case, it was for the past perfect, of course. Okay, okay, and past perfect and have something done. Wow, this have something done is making it difficult. So it's a kind of passive voice, but it is not a passive voice. It is something I do, but somebody does for me. So we have been dealing with a lot of uh, practice there. Some practice that we did online, some other that we've done with our um, uh, workbook and with our book. And well, here we are finishing our first term. I have had a great, amazing time with all of you exploring and discovering how I can be a better online teacher and trying you to be the be better, best online student. So let's try to practice our alternative greetings and so that we can meet next time just hip bumping, elbow bumping, saluting or just waving. Love you all. Have great winter holidays.